So welcome once more and uh, in this uh, lecture, lecture 11 of our series of uh, experimental stress analysis on strain gauge, I want us to talk about the delta rho set. The, we'll start with the, the three element. Three element delta rho set. Okay. So uh, in this case, in this case, the rosset, the, the the strain gauges are arranged at one twenty degrees apart. Eh? So I want to do that. So these are my strain gauges. Hmm. So this is one twenty. And another one twenty degrees. One twenty degrees. So these are the strain gauges. These are the strain gauges. So if this is strain gauge A, this is B. This is C. Okay, and then this is an X and Y axis. So uh, this can also be arranged as this. This can be arranged as one in the X axis and the angle goes here. So this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, here this is 120, equilateral triangle, so this is A, B and C, okay, now uh, we will still apply our equations, if I can go back to the equations we wrote down, where we said the strain at any point be given by the strain in the x direction alpha i plus strain in the y direction alpha i plus the, the shear strain like that okay so in this case we need to to substitute we need to substitute we need to substitute for alpha a alpha b and alpha c uh, if we can clear this and continue and say alpha a in this case is 0 degrees and alpha b in this case is 120 degrees and alpha c in this case is 240 degrees that is the angles from the x axis okay then if we substitute we'll get the reading on the first strain gauge gives the strain gauge the strains along the x cartesian plane similarly uh, for strain in the second strain gauge will be given as such and the strain gauge in the third the, the strain value in the third strain gauge is given as this these are just from simple 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 uh, substitutions okay so this are just from simple substitutions now at times eh, we also have what we call the fold element 
the four element delta rho set. This is an extension of the three element and uh, what happens with this uh, we just have a fourth rod set uh, for the strain gauge and is used as a confirmation of the accuracy okay it's just used to validate eh? and is uh, usually along the y-axis so we have a fourth strain gauge here so this is a b c and d okay so so the d is uh, provided the strain gauge d is provided to check for valid valid validity validity of the delta rosette analysis okay so we can basically see e x x is e a okay and e y y is equals to e t and in this case is equals to sorry let me write that properly can use a different color so that it can stand out so uh, is equals to the uh, strain A plus 3 strain D minus 4 strain the 4 strain gauge is equal to 3 ok so if if the strain in the x direction in the y direction is equal to the strain by this strain gauge then our our measurement is valid our measurement is valid and this will be understood better by use of examples examples so thank you very much